sharing my uh... okay but let me try first Can you hear that? Can anybody confirm if they're hearing that uh, sound? Sir, I can't hear anything. Okay, I'll just uh, first. Uh, Okay, so you have to open your exercise to PDF file and then uh, open a document and maybe you can follow for some or if not, since this is recorded later on, you can uh, play it back. Okay, uh, Microsoft Teams, I'm recording this. So you can play it back. Okay. And then that's it. That's the start. Okay. Uh, can you hear that? Now. Anybody? Can you hear it? Okay. We can start with this, which is on the header. So all you have. I can hear. Okay, so I'll start now from the beginning. Uh, so as I said, uh, it's not uh, captured here. So the 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 um, okay. So the layout okay of when you open a document, the layout of the exercise is landscape. So go to layout, change the landscape orientation to landscape, and then do the others margins narrow i'm going to say that here so i'm going to play it now okay going to the exercise so i just mentioned that uh, uh, it should be landscape so from layout orientation landscape okay and then most of this exercise that i'm going to ask should the margins i'm keeping to narrow okay and then that's it that's the start Okay, we can start with this, which is on the header. So all you have to do is go to insert and insert the header. Okay, uh, there are some custom built or built in, but I will just go to edit header. Okay, so this is it. So I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so what do we have here? It's a ABC car set, so you have this. So at the middle, go to home and then center alignment. Um, what's the name of uh, what do we have here? Car sales. And then building one. So telephone number three four 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 two three four 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 four. It's not sure about the telephone number. So there is a bar. Bar is enter on top of the enter key.
if info at abccars.com. Get bigger. Okay, the next part is insert a clip art, isn't it? Yeah, insert a clip art from office.com and this one. Okay, so there are ways to do that. You can go to office.com and insert a clip art, but we can also go for insert and online pictures. And while waiting, yeah, this is online pictures and then clip art. I can type clip art and then cards. Press enter. See about this. You can see the filter. All sizes, small, all types. I will go for clip art only and then I will go for small only. Okay, why do I go for small? Because it's going to be easier for me to uh, insert this in a word because it will be smaller in size. So you can see you have to download the file. Okay, and then after the words, change the layout. I'll try uh, to use typed, okay, so I can move it freely or uh, how will I put it, how will I, no, no, yeah, behind the text. So it will not affect the text, I put it behind the text. Okay, so that's it for our header. And then after that, uh, just go to the body. There are ways to go to the body. Uh, you can go for the, you can double click here or on the header. No, no. Yeah, you can double click on the body and now you're finished with the header. Okay, so you can start from here. That's not affecting your header because you are now in the body. Now, this is yes, correctly done. And then just zoom out again for us to have a better look. Okay, now I think I want to do first the border so I can see that clearly. Okay, design, and then you have here page borders, and then I'll use box and the whole document. Okay, so I said there are options here, so you can apply it to the whole document, and then that's it. Okay, so the first is again this one font size 16 point, no matter what font case, okay, what case, it just said font size. And then insert a clip art from office.com, set a back text to square for this. Okay, so we're gonna go back here. So let's just type first, don't miss this opportunity to avail of the following special offers from your number one secondhand car dealership in the Sultanate of Oman. So I will type that. That should be 16, right? So let's, yeah. Sorry, I have to shift the screen very fast. Number 
So this is done. Let me just give another line, sorry. Okay, and then let's insert again another uh, online picture, same as what we did earlier. So if our cars, and then again, I'm gonna filter small, I'm gonna filter a part. Okay, so is it small now, small and a part. Yeah, so let's just see. What do we have here? There's nothing. So why do I have better earlier? Let's say all types. Yeah. I think this one is better. Creative cars, commas only. Okay, help me find something. Uh, uh, if you, uh, sorry? If you write cars without the it's, it's, it's okay, it will work. Okay, so don't worry about that. It's up to you how do we do how will you do that? Uh, important thing are these options or layout options. So the instruction says or said that it should be wrap text to square. So from here, uh, let's choose square and that's it. That's how you're going to do this. So simple and you can follow now the next steps. Okay, but the next steps I'm going to give you some uh, how it should really be because some of you will just write no, no down payment and then you will space, 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 space. Okay, and then you will type this. Okay, and then once you go here again, after the piece, you will space, 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 space. That's why you have this set a laptop stack to three inches and set indentation to hanging by three inches. We will uh, later go there. But from here after the space or from here until here, it's three inches. And then also the hanging indentation, that means the leg, next line, okay? The next line will be a hanging indentation, which also have three inches. That's the meaning of this. So they are aligned, as you can see, okay? And then you don't have to like use space, 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 space. This is actually what's common with some of the students. So, but if you want to do it like this, it will be no, oh, what's the font size? Did it say anything? Uh, it didn't say anything, but I think this is smaller than this. So I will make this uh, 12 maybe. Okay, no. Try forty. Oh, down. Amen. Okay, so this is bold. And then after that, it was space, 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 space. Okay, for those who are first using your Microsoft Word, it is new, your uh, computer is new, your laptop is new. You have to show the ruler first, this one and this one. So where do you go to show the ruler? Here, File, Options, okay, you have, is it on General? No, it's on the display. in advance and then here show where's that show ruler where was that ah sorry uh what am i saying this is for uh the measurement in units so we are talking about inches here so if you want to change this centimeters or if you borrowed uh, a laptop and it's Microsoft Word and the, the ruler is in, in in centimeters and you want it to in in inches, this is where you want you will go file options advanced and then change this. 
Okay, so to view the ruler is actually here. Okay, on the view, view tab and check the ruler. Okay, so sorry about that. Anyway, so what we want to do is that automatically when we type the first uh, sentence here, because we want you to drive your dream car, we want to go on the three inches because that's what it says. So set a left tab stop to three inches. Okay, so if you're reading the file that I sent you, this is what it is saying. Okay, so how do you set a tab stop at three inches? There are two ways. Okay, the fastest way is that you know that this is L. Okay, it means left tab. I will remove my mouse. If I go back here, it will show you left tab. Okay, again, I will remove my mouse. If I click this once, it will change to center tab. You can see it, right? If I click it again, it will move and it will be a right tab. And it will change to decimal tab. And then it will change to bar tab. And it will change to first line indent and it will change to hanging indent and it will change to left tab indent indent so i'm going to yeah i need to tell you all about this okay so left tab it's already there so don't change this the fastest way so since the beginning i told you it's i can see l that means it's a left tab and according to your instruction, set a left tab stop to three inches. So all you have to do is just click on the three, which is the three inches, and that's it. Okay? So as I said, you do not have to press space, 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 space. Okay? The easiest way to do is to click the tab key on your keyboard. On your keyboard, on the top of caps lock, there is the tab key. So press that, you can see my cursor went to the three inches as soon as possible. Okay, now there's another, uh, another thing that you need to do. You need to set the indentation to hanging by three inches. Okay, next thing is go to home on your paragraph, dialog box launcher, Okay, you have the indentation here. Okay, on the special, you have two first line and hanging. Okay, the first line is the first line, the one that I will type on, and the hanging is the next and the rest. Okay, so when I click that, since my cursor is already at three inches, therefore, automatically he will show you hanging by three inches. Hanging by three inches. Okay, so if you want to adjust that, of course you can. Press OK. Okay, now what's this? You can see the, diff the other thing that was added. So left tab plus the hanging in then was already at the same area. So why is it necessary? Be uh, I will type because, so I will remove the bold first. Because. So you can see that after typing here, I went here. 
Okay, that that's, that that means that I don't have to, you know, space, 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 space again, and so on and so forth. And you can see it's clean that they're aligned. Okay, so unlike when you go for space, sometimes this is not aligned. This is not good to see. Okay, so the next, you're going to do the same. All right, you're not going to do the same, sorry, because I press enter when I came here and then came here, this was carried over. So the next one will be low matrix piece. Put this on bold first and then tab. Okay, so once you're in the tab, you can see the same symbol is applied. If you cannot see those symbols, that means you're going to make this wrong. Okay? So, Same, press enter, same format, da, 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 da. tab, okay, tab key, and remove the bold, da, 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 da. Um, if you have to do it completely. Okay, now let's go to the last part of this. Okay. Uh, let me close this first. Do you have any questions so far? Do you have any questions so far? Guys, can you follow those uh, first part of the exercise until here? Okay, so tab is uh, very helpful in this um, indentions or moving, okay, from one space to the other space in Microsoft Word. Now, if you go into capitalize on, I mean, maximize the use of that, you can do this very easy, whatever you do not have to use a table, okay, but because in this exercise, there should be no table. It should be tabs. Okay, that's why there is an instructions or there are instructions here because you have to follow instructions. Okay, part of this training is for you to, uh, to know how to follow instructions. Okay. So I will continue the video, but I will shift to another computer. So just give me a minute. I'm going to change computer. Okay, but we will still record this, huh? Can you hear me? I'm using another computer. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Wan and the others who. Now I'm going to share my screen. You have to do it completely. Okay, now let's go Just to the last part of this, uh, trying to maximize everything. Oops, sorry. This, which is this. Cars currently in promotion. Okay, this is a word art, so it's going to be. Now, can you hear that? Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm going to play now and then you go ahead. 
Okay, and then if there are questions later, we will entertain that. Let me just rewind a little bit. Yeah, okay, I think here we stopped here. Um, you have to do it completely. Okay, now let's go to the last part of this which is this, cars currently in promotion. Okay, this is a word art, so it's gonna be easy. Um, for now, I'm going to clear this. Okay, so from this point forward, where my cursor is, how to remove this, I'm just going to click on the L and then just move it somewhere to the left or move it away. Later, there's a, a better way to do this, but for the left indent also, sorry, why is it not, yeah, okay, so this is the left indent, okay, everything is here, so now let's go and insert a word art, where's that, mm, yeah, it's gonna be here, yeah, a word art. So anything from here, just decide whatever you want. I'll put cars currently. And maybe a little bit smaller. You can move this by cursor. That's it. Okay, so uh, my uh, my line is here, so I press enter. I'll be here. Okay, the next is sorry. The next is this one. Okay, it's a little bit. Uh, how do you say? Organize, okay? So again, you do not make space, 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 space. Do not make it like this, layout like this. You can use a table if you want, okay? But that will be on another. But this one is with the tabs. Set a left tab stop at one inch. So that means this one is a left tab stop at one inch. Set a center tab stop. Uh, one and two. So this is one inch, two inch, and then at the five inches here, it's a center tab stop. Okay? And then here, it's a decimal tab stop at eight inches. So this one. So every time I press tab, I will just type make. I press tab, I will type year. I press tab, I'll go here and type model as, and then so on and so forth until I finish until here. Okay, and then uh, include another car. Okay, that what what your what you will do later on. So, but I'm just going to show you this uh, small part or critical part. Uh, from here, I can see that I'm in zero. Okay, once I press tab, I should go to one inch and then type make. Okay, then after that, I should press tab and type gear, and I'll go to two inches. Sorry, and I'll type gear. So how do I do that? So the, the first way, I told you earlier, there are two ways, huh? but this one is the easier. Left tab, according to the instruction, left tab stop one inch and two inches. Left tab stop, go here, click left tab, go here, click left tab. Do not make mistakes, okay? So that's the problem of some of the students. Anyway, if you mess up a lot here, uh, I will show it to you later. Again, that's the second way on how to do this. So, instruction set, set a center tab stop at five inches. So let's do this at five inches. Okay, when I click, I told you it will change. Now it is center tab. Now, if you accidentally click so many, you can see that it becomes right tab. Okay, just click again until you see that symbol. Now it's center. Okay, now go back to, go to five and click the number five on the ruler and you will have a center tab stop. 
Okay. Now I have a right tab. Okay. Now I will go to the instruction, stop at eight inches. Okay, and then now I need a decimal tab stop. So I will click again this one and see, I have a decimal tab stop. Okay, once I have that, I will click on number eight and that's it. So I have left, left, right, decimal. Left, left, right, uh, center, sorry, and then decimal. Sorry, I was referring to center. So how do you do this right now? Click on the tab key on your keyboard, then make, okay, tab key again, year, tab key again, model, tab key again, price. Okay, so that's how easy it is. Press enter, okay? Enter going to the next line. That means you're going to type this, Toyota 2009 Land Cruiser. Uh, so tab key, Toyota, oh, sorry, tab key 2009, tab key Land Cruiser, tab key 8500.00, press enter, again tab key and so on and so forth. Okay, so that uh, explains how to do this. Put a car, it's up to you. Now let's go to the last footer. Write the text on the left and insert a page number on the right side. Okay, I will write that. Uh, Alfra, is there a problem or is there anybody who's facing a problem? From the class, Afra said lag. It was lagging. And now, is it okay now? Okay, so anyway, we are recording this. Uh, so once uh, yes, I'm recording this, so once we finish, you can always watch and play back uh, whatever was recorded. Okay, so uh, let's continue with our class, uh, with our video. Text on the left and insert a page number on the right. So this will be a footer. We have a header. Now I'm going to put a footer. How are we going to do that? As simple as this, insert footer. Okay, I'm going, I'm not going to edit footer now because I can see from the layout that this is at the left side, this is at the right side. So when I go here to the footer, I have a layout blank three columns. I can use this and I can use this. So click. Okay, you can see that I have three uh, placeholder, it's called placeholder. I just need to remove the middle. Okay, this one is the special offer number one. It is of 2011, nine years ago, anyway. Do this, and then I think this is italized, italicized. Sorry, so I okay. And then this one. So what are we going to do now? This is a page number, as what is told here. Page number. Okay. So if page number on a footer, okay, should be here. Page number, and then. Uh, What will I do? No, you will not use this. Current position, yes. 
Ah, yes, you will use this current position. You will not use top of the page because you are now in the footer. You are in the footer, you will just use current position. Okay? If you are in the header also, you will just use current position when you insert the number. Okay? So click this one and then plain number. Click and then you have now a page number. Okay, so that ends my discussion on exercise two. Do you have any question? Okay, so same question that I'm going to ask you. Do you have any question regarding exercise two? Can raise your hand. No, sir. No question. Okay, so that is sure. Huh? Now I sent you an uh, another exercise, exercise number three. So if you can check your geotech email, you can see now that exercise. Okay, it's. Uh, I have a question. Yes, please. Uh, how can I change it from centimeter to inch in MacBook? Uh, as I told earlier, I'm really not an uh, a MacBook user, so that's why I can I really cannot help those who are using MacBook. And my suggestion is for you to go to a Windows-based uh, Microsoft a uh, Windows-based. Microsoft Office. How will you do that? There is a way on uh, downloading Windows virtually to run on your MacBook so that when you use your Microsoft Office's Word, Excel, and PowerPoint later on, you can use the uh, Windows based Microsoft Office. Okay, what was your question again? Maybe some of the classmates can help. How can I change it from centimeter to inch? Um, is, uh, you, you don't have a file or tab on your Microsoft Office. Let me check. Can you share your screen? I'm ending my sharing. Can you share your screen? Is it possible, Anwar? I don't know. I don't. I don't think I can. I don't know. Are you in Mac? Are you opening your MS Teams on your laptop or your MacBook? Yes. You cannot see that. I just look it up online. It's fine. Okay then. So let's continue. Is, is there any more questions? So I told you open first. Uh, the file that I sent you through your email, exercise three. Okay, and check that out. Okay, this is exercise three. Uh, report on internet and networks. Now we're going to discuss that using the video again. So focus here first. Exercise two, you can do that later. I'll give you time to do this uh, exercises, okay? So now it's four o'clock. So once I finish the video, then you can start. Raise your hand if you have any question. Here, the instructions are here. Okay, so we can't use any tables, even if it looks the same? You cannot use a table here. It says left tab stat, correct? Yes. 
Okay, so instructions are very, very important. If I will not give an instruction and I just give you the layout or the exact thing that you're going to do, that's the thing that you have. You can do whatever you want as long as it is the same. Okay, but I gave instruction. So definitely you have to follow this. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, I was saying earlier that there's another way on how to do this. So I have to remove this and remove everything. So how do I remove from here? Just click and then remove. But there's another way. Paragraph tab, tabs. Okay. In the tabs, you can see whatever I said. I have one inch, two inch, five inch, eight inch, but you don't know yet what kind. I would like to apologize. Exercise two is still being discussed, so it's not yet exercise three. So go ahead and watch the video. Of tab, left, center, right, decimal bar. When you click this, you can see left tab. When you click this, it's left tab also. When you click this, it's a center tab. When you click this, it's a decimal tab. Okay, that's where you can see this. Now, as I said, you can remove everything by clearing everything here. Clear all. Done. Press OK. You don't have tab anymore. Okay, so I want to set it. Go to paragraph dialog box launcher, tabs, and I want to have a tab stop left at one inch. Okay? Uh, so left tab one Sorry, one inch, left tab stop set. Okay, so I have already a one here. Another uh, two, two left tab stop set. Oops, what happened? Two. Yes, set. Okay, so I have one inch, I have two inches, and then I need five, center, set. Okay, one, two, five, then I need eight inches, uh, decimal tab, set. Okay, so one, two, five, eight is already there, eight inches decimal, five inches center, two is left, one is left. Press OK, and I have all again. Okay, so I will do the same. Make tab here, tab uh, model, tab price. The same tab uh, Toyota year 2009, model net cruiser, uh, price. 8,500.00. Okay, you can see the alignment of this is decimal. That means it is for numbers. Okay, so that's it. Any question? Any question? Okay. So I'll proceed to the next exercise. I haven't emailed you yet the exercise, so I'll just email now.
Okay. So this is exercise number two. So let me just uh, create a new document. And again, I will have it as a layout, orientation, landscape, margins, narrow. That's where we start for this, okay? So it's the same idea. I have a landscape, I have a border outside. So let me just do those things because it's already uh, discussed to you. So design, page borders, full document, box, press OK. So that's it. So from here, I will need to insert a header. Insert a header, write text, insert the day to day, add clip art from office.com using the keyword internet. So try to do this, okay, as a uh, uh, I mean, as it is, okay, but I will not go into details of this since this is a report of, on internet, this is on header. I already taught you about that. So that's insert header. Now, since I can see from the, again, it's one, two, three. So there are positions already. Uh, we'll use the three columns, blank and then three columns. I will remove this space header. I uh, will... Uh, Placeholder, sorry. And then report on the internet network. And network, sorry. Okay, type here. So as you can see, this is a date. Okay, so what I'll do here, just uh, insert. And then you can see here, insert date and time. Okay, so you can choose from the different formats. Okay, and then I think I chose this 11 October 2020. Okay, so again on the insert tab, but you have to click on the holder first, the placeholder here, before you go to insert and look for the text and then look for the uh, date. Okay, 11 October 2020. Now you can see from the dialog box, the check is update automatically. Okay, so if I press OK here, that means if I close this word, I save it, and then I open this tomorrow, the day tomorrow will be 12 October. So it will be 12 October. So that's why that one is update automatically. Okay, so just uh, format this, go to Home tab, and so on. Okay, so that's it. I will go out of the header and the picture you take care of that. Okay, now here all the text is the internet. The internet is a global system for mobile, support electronic mail and so on. And then there is number one, as you can see, what is that number one? Number one is what we call a uh, footer, a footnote, sorry, footnote, not a footer. It's one part of the referencing. So what we're going to discuss right now is referencing. Because what I will do to make this easier is just to copy this paragraph from the internet. But I need to make a footnote so that the, the reader will know where I got this. Okay, and from here you can see Wikipedia, this I got from here. So I'll click this. and see where will it go. It's in Wikipedia and then I got that from there. Okay, so as simple as that. Okay, so let's proceed. So I'm going to type first this header, heading, sorry, heading of this paragraph, the internet. Let me go on the second line. The okay, so here I didn't have to do anything but just apply heading one style. So where are the styles in your home tab? It's here. Okay, so just highlight, click on the styles, and then look for heading one. And that's your heading one. Okay, 
So don't look at what how it looks like here. Okay, look at the different instructions. Go to the next line. The next line, it should be emphasis style. But before you apply the emphasis style, let's copy first. And this is the time that I'm asking you to copy. The internet is a global system of interconnected networks and so on. So we will copy that here. Let me verify. Okay, so that's the, the sentence we are looking for, the paragraph. So I'm going to copy this. Copy or control C. Go to my word and then right click and then paste options. Keep text only. Do not copy the format. If you copy this, keep source, merge formatting, do not do that. Just keep text only. Okay? And that's it. After that, double, uh, I mean, highlight, sorry. To do this three port, I think one, two, three. You will highlight the paragraph. Okay, now apply styles emphasis according to the instruction. Look for it here, da, 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 here. Done. Okay, now you will type number one. No, you will not because one is a footnote. So you have to insert a footnote. And a footnote is not for, uh, is it not here? Okay, it's bothering us. And pin toolbar, pin toolbar. Okay, what's this? Can you see the tab? Okay, I think you can see the tab still. Okay, from the review, I uh, know references, sorry, references, because we are on a topic now of referencing. Okay. You can see on the footnote tab, insert footnote number one, bam. When you click that, the number one is here and whatever you type on that below will be shown when you mouse over that number one. You can see, okay, I'm going to start typing. How does it look here? Yeah, Wikipedia one thing, okay. Wikipedia. Seven October okay. it's a period here so uh, okay manually typing that I have to put a bracket yes okay let me now copy the uh, website from here click Copy the website, go back to your Word file. Okay. So that's it. Okay. So to follow the next one, just type it, but play uh, first apply heading two on here and this one and heading to style and indent by 0.5. How do you indent? I've shown you that in exercise number two. Okay, now you copy also from which site you go here, copy and paste and then insert a footnote through reference tab and then insert footnote. So automatically it will write here number two and it will go you, it will, uh, yeah, redirect you to this line number two and you can type this and then copy uh, uh, this thing. Okay, the rest, I think it's self-explanatory. I don't have to discuss that. So I sent you already the email of exercise number three. Okay, so for now, I will leave you and you have one hour to finish exercise two and three. You will not submit it yet. Again, you just save it. You have this one hour for you to do those two exercises.
Okay. So is there any question? Exercise two and three. Let me just change. Okay, I'm here on my main computer. So any more question? I'll just download the uh, attendance again today. Okay, so again, uh, just to remind you, you will do exercise one, two, and three already. So you still have time today for 17, you still have 40, 30 to 40 minutes, okay? With you, you finish exercise two and three. One should be finished already. Save it on your laptop. And uh, again, there are no instructions yet when and where you will submit or how you will submit these exercises. So uh, once it is settled, I will give you instructions and you can do it. Yes, Muzna. Um, something in exercise three mm -hmm. um there is a blue box in, in the bottom it's written after writing the whole document change the style of the document to simple yes you will do that also after you finish everything that's the last thing that you're going to do you're going to change that to what was that uh okay forget change the style of the whole document to simple so where will that be there will be on the design document formatting is there a simple here mm, after writing the whole document change the style of the document to simple. yeah i know this is here let's find the simple 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 um, sir, we can't see your screen. Ah, sorry, sorry. Uh, let me share the screen. Thank mm, you, support. Yeah, here. Okay, home tab, insert design. Design tab, you have the document formatting group, and then here are the document styles. Okay, so you can uh, try to find. From here, it will show you. Yeah, I think this one is the simple, basic simple. I should, yeah, I should change that one. Okay. Design, document formatting, basic simple. Anything else? Any more questions? Okay, so do your exercise. You still have time. Uh, if you need some more questions, I'll just be here. Okay, just uh, send me a message. But I'll turn off my audio and video. Just send me a message. I mean, uh, through MS Teams chat. Okay, but I'm going to stop recording this. Uh, and we can now leave this conversation okay i'll not monitor you i'll see you next meeting okay if you have some question just chat with on and microsoft teams so please try to do all these exercises as soon as possible so you, it will not pile up uh, because as i said all these exercises are uh, requirement for you to, to, to take the exam ic3 okay have a nice day Thank you, sir.